I just want to say personally how much I appreciate this movie or film. I'm never quite sure what word to use, but uh, because when in talking uh, to Michael and Laurel, um, one of the motivations for this, for making this, was because people aren't paying attention. I don't know how many columns I've written just saying, wake up, look around. Um, we're going to be paying the price for our wars for years and years and years to come. And a movie like this just really helps a lot. I think that part of the change that we need in our country is that even people who are non-veterans need to be as engaged in this as anybody because we have an even greater um, obligation to serve those who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice because, you know, in a time like this when everybody's worrying, you know, how can we hold a candle to the sense of sacrifice that people put out there when they're ready to lay their lives on the line for our freedom? It just doesn't come close. My little brother just got sent over. My mom's a little freaked out about it, but I think, I think he'll be okay. He's always been tough as nail. It's a tragedy that's occurring so many times in this country, which we can't understand. And it still goes on as we talk today. In 2007, they researched and they found out 18 veterans a day were committing suicide for over 6,400 veterans a year. That's a shame for this country, for this nation. And it's a shame for the government which even two nights ago, um, we were reached out to because a young man wasn't being given the proper care, was given pills, and then sent away, even though he was suicidal. Explain that to us, seven years after my son hung himself. I think if more people knew the, the real rate of incarceration of our soldiers and how it's disproportionately higher because of their invisible wounds. They never self-identified or they never were given the care. Suicide in general is undercounted because people feel stigmatized. I think when the veterans ultimately win for us, they're gonna win it for all Americans because we'll, we should be giving Purple Hearts not only for the visible wounds of war, but for the, quote, invisible, but they're not invisible. So there's a lot of tangible things that we should be petitioning our lawmakers and representatives to change about the existing way that either we don't take this issue seriously, that I think could help change future attitudes so that we're not here with another gray beard guy from Iraq in 25, 30 years from now saying we did it all over again and we never learned. You know, there's not one single day that goes by and I don't think about the guys that I lost. The things they would have done. The kids they would have had. But there ain't no rewinds in this life. Sometimes you just have to, you know, find a way to deal. I, I personally think the story here is that the war doesn't end when we say it's over. For many of these, it's clear in the film, the war just begins for them. And to all the veterans who are in the audience, thank you for your service.